Flights from the Gold Coast to Bali have been announced. As demand for flights to Bali from Australia rises, Gold Coast residents may rejoice this week as Virgin Australia reveals the first ever Gold Coast to Bali flight schedule. Until today, Gold Coast visitors who wished to visit Bali had to travel nearly an hour north up the coast to Brisbane. Travelers from the Gold Coast, Byron Bay, and neighboring areas may now fly straight to Denpasar in Bali. The Gold Coast, Byron Bay, and Bali are well known for having some of the world's greatest surf. Thousands of Australians go to the Bali coast each year in pursuit of the perfect wave. Virgin Australia has announced that traveling with surfboards on this route will be free of charge. Surfboards enclosed in a protective hard case bag, with fins removed, that weigh less than 23 kilograms and are shorter than 3 meters incur no excess baggage fees and are considered part of your checked baggage allowance when you book a choice or flex fare with Virgin Australia. According to the Virgin Australia website, is a huge incentive for surfers planning a trip to Bali next year. Many airlines charge extra for surfboards, which may eat up a significant portion of a trip budget. Changu and Uluwatu in Bali, for example, have plenty of time to prepare for an increase in surf travelers. Virgin Australia is the first airline located in Australia to provide this direct route. The Gold Coast Bali line will begin service at the end of March 2023, just in time for Bali's peak season in 2023. In recent weeks, demand for vacation travel from the Gold Coast to Bali has surged. Analysts are comparing data from May and June 2019 to May and June 2022 to determine an appropriate demand scale. Jane Heard Liska, CEO of Virgin Australia, told reporters that demand for travel from the Gold Coast had surged by 55%. She went on to note that flight bookings for Bali had jumped 48% from the same time last year. At the moment, tourists flying from the Gold Coast to Bali must stop in Sydney or Melbourne, or drive to Brisbane and fly directly from there. This route is commonly recognized as a major obstacle for passengers, with traffic frequently creating major delays. Mike Wire, speaking on behalf of Maine Beach Travel Advisors, told reporters that travel brokers are witnessing pre-pandemic levels of demand for travel. With demand surpassing supply, we are seeing airfares 40% higher than they were pre-COVID, so I would expect, the new service, will have some very nice discounts in place, he added. The new daily direct flight from Gold Coast to Bali will provide around 2,200 seats each week. Flight duration is only 6 hours and 35 minutes, and airfares start at 399 Australian dollars round trip. All major airlines that fly to Bali are restarting or expanding their flights to the island. Batik Air has restarted flights from Kuala Lumpur to Bali and Melbourne to Bali in recent weeks. The Melbourne Bali route will start operation on June 17, 2022, and will initially run four times per week. Girarai Airport officials in Bali revealed this week that the airport will welcome over 1 million passengers through its domestic and international terminals in May 2022. From April to May, the airport recorded a 64% rise in passengers, with over 7,000 planes a-landing. Although the great majority of visitors to Bali are from Java, foreign visitors are on the rise. International arrivals will soon compete with domestic tourists, thanks to increasing capacity and new airline routes such as Virgin Australia's new Gold Coast to Bali trip.